What would you do if someone walked up to you and gave you a stack of bedrock? Would you use it to restore the server or would you use it to destroy it? As soon as I joined the server, I noticed a massive wall around spawn, as well as my friend saying this. Oh yeah, I should probably get you out of there before it's too late. Wait, what do you mean by that? After my friend said this, I immediately learned that spawn was not safe. So after I got out, I started grinding. While I'm doing this, I should probably explain the server. On the Nuffolk SMP, you can commit identity fraud by killing a player and using a token that turns you into them. But now that I have gear, I can finally go to spawn without being bullied. But I also want to know what the wall is for, so I hopped into a VC with Charlie Fouquet and asked her a couple of questions. What exactly is the purpose of the wall? To protect the players inside. When I joined the server, Klausi said that the walls are to keep people into spawn so they can easily be killed. Well, he's just incorrect. If that's the case, then why do people try to tear it down? I don't know. They don't see what I see in it. So how exactly are you going to stop people from breaking the wall? What? That is Bedrock, a block everyone knows is impossible to get in survival Minecraft, yet somehow, Charlie 4K has it. How is this even possible? Wouldn't this destroy the server? How is this protecting spawn? All of these questions were running through my head at the same time, but Charlie has been my teammate on countless servers, and I knew that being with the wall was the right choice. But this would mean that we were going to go against the entire server, and this problem showed up faster than expected. Yo, you should probably go help your teammate. Wait, what? Charlie 4K just died to a player named Sonny, so me and my teammate Mixed went to go get revenge. Oh, Charlie, this is free. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. I'm getting, all right, as soon as I'm going to call in front of him. Someone? Breaking the portal, I'm gonna break the portal, I'm gonna break the portal. Break the portal, break the portal. His boot's broke, his boot's broke. He's dead. He's dead. Charlie! Water beat, water beat, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Nice, just kill him, kill him, kill him. He's dead, he's dead. Don't let Trevi get the kill, don't let Trevi get the kill. He's dead. No. I'm at one heart, bro. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, run, 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 run. Trevi got it, no. Trevi, I got none of it. I got, I got some stuff, I got some stuff, I got some stuff. Shrubby! Shrubby escaped the fight, but we still got a kill on Sonny. But after that fight, nobody even wanted to go near spawn. And because of that, Charlie for k decided to go to my base and talk about the plan. So, I I have a plan I want to tell you about. At 12 a.m., I want me, you, Lactic Suncat, and Polar Vibe to march to spawn and build the wall out of bedrock. Spawn will never be the same. Are you in? Let's do it. The plan was simple. We all had to spawn and surround it with bedrock, but we had to be very careful because if someone just so happened to log on and see what we were doing, we would be attacked by several people and more than likely banned by the owner. But there was no time for second thoughts as in a couple minutes, we were gonna be heading to spawn. There was no going back. Charlie, any more bedrock? Okay. Don't they want to fix this? If they get like the t the bedrock breakers. Oh damn. And it was kind of annoying, so I was. I mean, good thing he's helping us. And low, how, how much have we got left? Uh, we're we're chilling. I have. When our enemies saw us doing this, they didn't attack us. They instead admitted defeat and started helping us. We had done it. Spawn was surrounded in bedrock, and it would never be the same. At least that's what I thought. What on earth happened to the? What happened? I ate it all. A member named Browns found a way to get rid of all the bedrock in two hours. I was shocked. I didn't know how this was possible. I knew people could break the bedrock with machines, but not in two hours. But unfortunately for them, the walls were not my only project. I had found every single base and killed everyone I saw. And if the server has no bases, no gear, and a small world border, then the server will have no choice but to shut down. And after draining a lot of server members, Take9 announced that there would be one final fight for the Delphic SMP. So we decided to show up and kill everyone. Oh, oh shoot. Alright. This is happening. Oh, oh what? Oh, wait, okay, pop out. Hey, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. I hear Hold so on, much bombs going off. Who's killing me? Oh my okay. god, they put me in combat. Oh my god. Anyways. Okay. Where are you? Uh, I'm at spawn. Oh, yo. 
Oh my god, Polar is aggroing me. Polar is aggroing me. Hold on. After that extremely anticlimactic fight, Delphic SMP was officially ending. And as we all dropped our items into the void, I realized how much things we did on Delphic. We were the first modern SMP to obtain Bedrock. We had the biggest void trap on a 1.19 server. This SMP made history, and as I jumped into the void, all I could think about is what season 2 will bring.